Okay, here I am. I flipped Dondo down, I would more than I flipped myself down. So Grinald a crystal which once belonged to one of Ardbird's companions. Oh, did I have the crystal? Huh. What's that you've got there? Such striking beauty it shines a, with heartache and laughter and the transience of life, like the turmoil of history made manifest. Damn. I I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. I you'd never capture such a gleam if not you labored a hundred years. But burger me if I don't mean to try. Where's my tools, gods damn ye? <laughs> I must set to work before the feeling fades. Alright, do it. The illuminated land, okay. Oh. Here's the options. I can feel it, the vision forming in my mind. Step aside less and let me itching hands get to work. Alright. Care for emotional support, thank you. I've taken the wonders of the crystal, showed me, and channeled them into a new shape. What befits the Andal's spiritual character? Wow, that's one hell of a lamp. And to think, I was this close to hanging up my hammer and studying the craft of them ancients. I've been across the length and breadth of Norvent and gobbled up every scrap of craft and wisdom I could find. But no matter which technique I tried, my work just was my work was just no comparison. I couldn't even figure out how they put the damn buildings together. The mystery for the agents, it's what drew me here in the first place. I bolt me my workshop, got the forges burning, then lost me leading will to craft. Thank the gods that the crystal yours, or I might have never gotten it back. I won't pry into your business, but I reckon your little miracle has been through the kind of journey they sing songs about. The echoes of the memory it holds just speak directly to your heart. Still feel me. Feel them coursing through me. The inspiration's not fading away. It's welling up stronger and stronger. Give me the chance and I reckon I can weave the crystal saga into the other things as well. But bugger me, I've almost forgotten the Ando's commission. If you could drag that lamp over to Tosh Ath for me, I'd stay here and dream up new armaments for me. I have to drag this huge ass thing across the water that's not there. You now have access to grow up uh, Granol Granola's Forge. Equipment rewards will become available for collection based on the role quest you have completed. Well? Uh. What does that mean for me? Please explain. Oh, Weathered Lion- Ooh! It's Lionheart! Oh, Weathered Lionheart. Does it, does it really look- It doesn't- It looks nothing like Lionheart, but it's still- Hmm. Eh, that's okay. Weathered Bodyguard's Binder, what's that? Uh, eh, yeah, it's okay. Oh god, it makes me look like Thancrit, except I'm blue. Uh, I don't know if I want that. It's journeys and gear. Eh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to finish this. Deliver Grinald's land to Tosh. Thing, I can just teleport. Oh, dude, if I look like Thancred, that means that if I leveled up Black Mage, I could look like Ishtola and get that sweet dress? Hmm. What is that you have there? Granola's lamp. Granola's lamp. Oops, sorry. This profusion of brightly glowing coral-like branches is the most definitely not a, n a kettle. <laughs> the sacred lamp, then the finless one has kept his promise. 
My people, tell me of the many deeds you have performed in the name of aiding the cups, and now you come to me bearing the light we had almost surrendered hope of ever seeing. We can doubt your purity no longer. Your arrival was the will of the ancients. Yes, the time for fear has passed. We shall take the lamp and unveil its austere illumination upon the walls of the forgotten. Gather there with you, your companions, and we shall speak once again our prayers have been offered. Stewards of the Ondo, we offer up our light in answer. That crystal you showed the artisan. Was it... Did it belong to one of my friends? Yeah. I thought you were always washing, Mr. Watching. Wow. Both of these are snarky. I tried to give you a measure of privacy. No one wants a spirit looking over their shoulder every moment of the day. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your respect to my privacy. So tell me, if you would, how did you come across that crystal? It was Brandon's then. Strange that I should learn such things now, after they're long gone. They were fine friends, every one of them. I didn't expect death to teach me so much. About them, about Seto, about you. About the hope that hides at the heart of this world? I've never been one for idle chit-chat, but if by some miracle I could see them all again, I doubt I'd ever stop talking. I'm grateful I got to bend your ear at least. And just for that, I reckon I'll stick with you. To the very end. Well, I couldn't imagine what else you'd be doing since nobody notices you except me. But thank you for being very kind on that. Apologies, we were a little late to the gathering. It seems we've succeeded in gaining their trust. The delay wasn't exactly welcome, but at least our many hands made light work. And they seemed especially impressed with your contribution. Our hero indeed. Yustola was telling us those structures may date back to the age of the Asians. An Asian homeland. Despite his many protestations, I never quite believed Emmet Selk was telling the truth. Nor I. But there is no denying the evidence before our eyes. Clearly this was once a great city. A home they would see restored, no matter how many tens of thousands of years it takes. It's a hollow dream when you think about it. Even if they manage to rejoin all the worlds, they'll never bring back the ones who were lost. But would I have done any different? Are you... How are you feeling? Hmm, what is that supposed to mean? Why can I see my hand through my armor? You have completed your devotions? Yes. To the honored ancients have we offered up our prayers and our gratitude. You too have our thanks. 
Might we trouble thee then to tell us more of the illuminated land of which thou didst lately speak? To the west of here lies a great trench. Some days ago, a light appeared in that endless darkness. Curious, we ventured closer and discovered in the depths an entire city. Ooh. The buildings we spied were akin to our own everlasting abodes. Impossibly so. We understood at once the ancients had risen. There could be no doubt. Taken with terror, we retreated to the cups, and I decreed that none should enter the trench until such time as we received a sign. Might it still be possible to reach this city of the ancients? Hmm. With no water to drown you, a finless one could now travel there. Yes. I am convinced you are the sign for which we have been waiting. My people will show you the way. Shall we? Just trust on the other guy and hi. The chieftain has bid me guide your steps to illuminated land. Come, the way lies downwards. Follow the path of coral and rock and join your Okay, I can't find the Ondo guard. Where do I go? <laughs> okay, uh... Do I go back to the trench? Wait, I think I missed it. it. Was over. He was standing here before, so. Oh, okay. Apparently, I completely missed this area. We need if the artisan fellow is as skill as they say, then you may wish to avail yourself to the services every press on. Uh, shit, do I have to? Yeah, actually, stop talking there. <laughs> actually, I actually have a point because my gear is actually pretty still pretty weak. Okay, what was what's his face currency? I, I didn't pay attention to that. I was just looking at it and like I don't want to look like that crud. Oh, oh nice. All right, I'm here to look just like Dan crud. Uh, 
Uh, no. How about I just glamour this real quick? Okay, now I can look respectable. Metzelk has made himself difficult to reach, yet every step we take bringeth nearer to a stronghold. Let us not linger, let the Exarch suffer for our late rival. Meeting the Ando was fascinating, Ooh, just like us in some ways, but act completely different than others. The way they think, the way they play. I'd love to come back here and learn more about their culture. Will the dome last that long, I wonder? Mm, yeah, we don't- they never told us if we had a time limit. This is where all the stupid air aether currents are. If Emmet Salk is in that trench, then we'll have to assume he's not swimming in salt water. We wouldn't want to suddenly find ourselves at the edge of Miss Mark's bubble with no air to breathe. During the time I've spent helping Dondo, I've been introduced to quite a few of the local varieties of sea life. Although sea monsters, this may have more apt turn. Probably best to avoid them if we can. We're on our way at last. It seems far darker down there, but I'll not start at a few shadows. We are moving as a group, yes. Uh-huh. All are gathered, yes. Then I shall describe the path you must take. Enter the cavern beyond, follow the wall down, and down and down, once at the bottom. Find a passage to the northwest, and continue west and west and west. Wow. The way is not simple. Keep your friends within shouting distance and do not stray into the deep. Just before the journey's end, you will find the Caliban Gap and the barrier we placed at its mouth. This obstacle will fade should you raise a hand towards it. We have made it so. Most succinct explanation. We thank you for your guidance. Deeper into the depths we go. God, leave me alone. Where am I right now? Hmm. And it's pretty, pretty far down. Should I just jump? That there are people down there. Where's oh, Ryan? Ryan. The rocks and coral bunch up by the caver cavern wall like a staircase of sorts, but be careful, you want the slip from up here. Damn! That's a city, alright. It's freaking New York down here. When the Ondo spoke of a city, I did not think they meant an actual city. Well, what did you think they meant? Then we are seeing the same view. The remnants in the Ondo settlement were solid material structures. These. Everything here pulses with ether. Tis an enchantment on a monumental scale. Yeah, you know what's scary is all the lights are on. As if there's actually people living inside them. I cannot blame the Ando for fleeing the spectacle of these blue brooding edifices. We, however, have not the luxury of fear. Met Cell holds the Exarch captive somewhere within the, this vast city. Oh man, we have to look for him? Yet, even if we must search every alleyway, we will find them. Oh, that's, that, that seemed to be tall order right now. When the chieftain spoke of lights shining from the abyss, is this not all what I imagined? Why would Emet Cell do this? I think all those tall buildings would be frightening, but for some reason they just make me feel sad. 
It's big, I'll grant you, but cluttered city streets are far more conducive to infiltration than wide open spaces. This will work to our advantage, trust me. Trust me. Griffin, did you note the style of the architecture? It is the same used for the remnants of the cups at the murals painted towers. Look closely. I meant so. Damn it. That is a good view, man. That is. It's kind of off putting because it's in a Final Fantasy setting. This is more like a modern setting, if anything. Look closely. Emmet Selk has not simply reclaimed these ruins, he has layered the semblance of an entire city upon them. Thus, the magnitude of his. Uh, our artifice is staggering. Though it pains me to admit, we did not fully understand the feats of which the old world Asian is capable. So, we're. So I can probably understand his, like, uh, looking down on everyone. Like, if they were advanced enough to make something look modern and then have it all broken down and returned to, like, Dark Ages type of stuff, then I can see why he would be so upset and not see people as, people as, like, just a devolution of what they used to be. Let's see. Quick Tongue, Spell, Tennessee, Piety. Uh, no way in hell would anybody use tenacity except incredibly desperate. I'm gonna assume skill speed will have a place. How to descend into the city itself. What's stopping us from just jumping on the building? End of a world. It's intimidating, yes, but we have to start somewhere. Why don't we have a closer look at the tower in the southeast? We might be able to reach it from the edge of the trench. Hmm. Oh, it's sitting in a trench? Hmm. And that's... It's pretty... It's pretty bold. Oh, here's a... Aether current to greet me. Oh god, are these really that tall? Are these clouds I'm looking at? Oh my god, there's like a trees and stuff down there. Oh my god. Uh pretty amazing so um would there be an explanation why these exist or is yeah it is jump off here no i cannot uh the game is trying to save me for myself but what would be the explanation here like i mean you have the allegans to be responsible but there is but th that was the source so what's the explanation for this existing here in this universe oh closing doors unless it's as i said and when reality split, it took different parts of it, and not exactly, like, an actual reflection of that's been done times 14. Griffin Fire recognized. Welcome to the city of Amarat. Oh, shit. The building just welcomed you. Yep. It not so passing strange, did Emmet Salt not invite Griffin to visit his boat? Where will this lift be taking us? The lift services every level of Akora Heights, but is presently configured to convey passengers directly to the ground floor. 
There you have it, an absence of some few hundred yelms of rope. We have little choice but to accept the offer. Emphasis on the we. I'm not about to let you walk into that place alone. Just be nice. Don't be nice to the computer. As you wish. The lift will arri arrive shortly. So we sort of confirmed it by way of compared it to the murals, but it just confirmed that this is indeed the ASEAN city by calling it Amarat. Next up, ground floor. Facilities include the Bureau of Administrator, the Bureau of Architect, and the Capitol. Okay. Huh, oh, that's nice. Then my if my eyes do not deceive, we stand in some manner of communal square. Just a moment. I thought I saw something. What do you see? I'm seeing a lot of stuff. believe how tall everything is. Yeah, have you ever been to New York? I've never been to New York, but I lived in Chicago and man, when you're like in the middle of the city and you're staring up and the talls and the like buildings just kind of crowd around you. Seems peaceful enough, he said, tempting fate. Each of these towers seems a veritable city in itself, even a I guess would feel inadequate to such surroundings. I haven't been to a city for a really, really, really long time, so yeah, it kind of feels amazing. It's only at this distance that you start to realize just how big the buildings truly are, but that the voice called the city Amarat. that a person? I know my mistake. That's a giant! Doesn't seem to have noticed us yet. Giant or no, resident of this place may have much and more to tell us. I say we make the first move. Uh, Dolphin, no, you can't just... <laughs> you can't just walk up to giants like that! Oh yeah, VR would definitely look really good. Hey, uh, there w was an article I came across saying that they wanted to improve the graphics on this, but I didn't read why. FF12 City? Mm, yeah, I can sort of remember that. Oh man, that is a really big person. Oh shit. Oh, what adorable costumes. Are your children on an excursion? This district has much to teach you. Oh, uh, that sounded like no language I ever heard, and yet I understood every word. Just as he understood us. Well, he called us adorable children, so... Lirite District, wherein lie the institution most vital to the management of our star. <laughs> Tell us where to find Emmett, so. Alright. Uh. Let's not be too specific just yet. A convocation of 14. So, Emmett Selk isn't the leader here. Is a member of the convocation. Were you hoping to witness its deeds firsthand? Probably. The whole world holds its breath as the final days draw near, and our brightest minds race to implement their plan. Okay, 
getting an audience at this time will be next to impossible. You should hurry home now before your families begin to worry. Do you need me to walk you back? <laughs> We're not children, ma'am, sir. Well, they are. I wonder if they ha have Halloween. Just out trick or treating. Is that. Does that thing really exist? I feel like that's a ghost. Yeah, just poof. My eyes, these people appear as arcane entities. I sus suspect Elmid Silk wove them from Aether, much as he reconstructed the rest of the city. Final days. Such words will befit the oblivion described to us by our Asian foe. The catastrophe of unprecedented scale, which did set in motion the summoning of Zodiac and thence Heidelin herself. That happened centuries and centuries ago, didn't it? The man spoke as if we were rushing to avert dis disaster here and now. Hmm. Less for these people, the distant past is the here and now. I believe thou hast the right of it, Master Alphanode. Uh, this Altherial Amarat and its residents appear to be phantoms of a different- yeah. Mixelk hath resurrected a memory, a moment in time from before the star was sundered. Arcadia. I, I did reach Arcadia in 14. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't really remember it much. I didn't. Uh, I was playing twelve recently, but I didn't get that far yet. But I did get that far before. But I can't really remember it as much now. Long departed. Unusual situation to be sure, but at least we're able to parlay with these ancients. In fact, they seem downright eager to chat. I say we use this to our advantage. Split up, strike up some conversations, and see if we can learn our, the location of our quarry. And while we're at it, we wouldn't hurt to wheel out a few more details regarding this Convocation of Fourteen and their impending disaster. Hmm. To mingling, then. Let us meet here when our jaws start aching. Alright, learn and learn and learn. <laughs> 